Hey everybody, Rare Diamond Sue Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Diamond Bonus video. Billionaire bets he can be homeless for a year. Let's get into this guy. You have no, no idea, idea what this means. means. It means you can buy more drugs and booze. Thanks to my bleeding heart friend here. Ignore him. Glad I could help. You have a good day. Bless you. Thank you so much. You didn't have to be so rude to the man, Jason. Hey, I was looking out for you. You know giving someone like that money isn't helping him, right? You're just enabling him. Someone like that? He's a person. Okay, a lazy person. You have no idea the struggle someone in You don't know his story. You can't say, oh, he's a lazy person. His position has to endure on the daily. He could pull himself up by his bootstraps if he chooses. I did it. You inherited a million dollars from your father. That's how you did it. Right, you inherited a million dollars from your father. Like, you ain't put in work. You can't talk. Not everyone can be that lucky. So you think I haven't earned what I have? No, of course not. I'm just saying that it's not always easy starting from scratch. We can all use a little help from time to time. Okay. Let's just say by some disaster, I end up on the streets. I'd get a job in an apartment within three months. <laughs> Tops. That is ridiculous. Care to make a bet? Here's the deal. If I can't do it, you get my beach house in Hawaii. What? Which I know you've always loved. But when I win, I get your Porsche. What? <laughs> okay, you're on. On one condition. If I win, you donate that exact amount to the charity of my choosing. Yep. Deal. His wallet, his phone, he got to give all that up. I will be off the streets and driving this Porsche before he even miss me. Sounds like you have a plan. I don't think he's going to be able to survive. What do you guys think? Uh, you think? First thing I got to do is earn enough money for a suit for a job interview. Good luck. You're gonna need it. So Jason got to work on his plan. He started by collecting cans, which he used to buy the supplies he needed to start a shoe shining business. He set up in a location where he knew there'd be customers. And soon, the money was rolling in. Shoe shine, $2. Shine your shoes, only two bucks. Hey man, we should really think about moving spots. That's supposed to be a threat. What? No, I'm just trying to help. I was just about to say, he trying to help him out. Come on now. Help you out. I don't need any help, especially not from someone like you. I'm doing just fine. Hey, you can't be here. You're scaring my customers away. Just trying to make a living. Yeah, my store's expense. Read this sign. Hey, that's money. Took, uh uh, how he gonna take all his hard earned money? Money, not anymore. That's what they do to Consider it a tax. Oh, I already called them. Good. Let's see what they have to say about this. Who do you think they're gonna believe? A hard-working store manager like myself or some bum? It's not worth it. Let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go. <sighs> that guy took all my money. Yeah, he's bad news. That's what I was trying to warn you about. No, you don't get it. He took all my money. I've got nothing left. Uh, I know what that's like. Trust me. If right. Say, like, how you gonna say he don't get it, but he homeless too with nothing? Like, he he don't even have a dollar to his name. You had more money than he did. I know it. When I was down to nothing, they looked after me. Look what nothing I like, okay? After losing all of his money, Jason tried to pick himself back up and rebuild. But he discovered starting over from nothing was tougher than he could have ever imagined. 
Before Jason knew it, two months had passed and he was nowhere close to the winning bet. I wouldn't do that, mister. If you're caught, we have a fire. She said, I wouldn't do that. Uh, poor little girl is homeless too. It's okay. You can come, come on, on in. Looks, Looks like, like it's about to rain. I was just on my way to the shelter. Oh, no, no. Trust me. It's much safer in here than it is in there. She, that's why the little girl told him he, that what he, he wouldn't that? do that. Well, it's just they're not safe for single women, children, the elderly. I mean, it's overpacked and understaffed, so they're not able to keep the vulnerable safe. That's why a few of us, a few years ago, we made this camp. We look after each other. You know, uh, it doesn't sound too good. Here. Man, honestly, I feel like if I was ever homeless, I would almost die. Like, if I didn't have any money, I would almost die because... I can't starve myself. I get skinny really fast. It's over for me. Like, I lose weight just like that. Like, I don't know how homeless people do it. No, I'm good. Sounds, Sounds like, like you need, need it more than we do. How did you two end up here? No offense, but you seem pretty capable. Was it my plan? That's for sure. Well, I actually used to be a COO of a pretty successful company, but life happens. What does that mean? What happened? Well, um, shortly after my daughter was born, my husband, um, he got really sick. And uh, husband died. I had to quit my job to take care of him. Yeah. You know, he pushed through. Two more years. Uh, but um, after that, it's just, it's just hard. This gap in my resume, those two years, I just couldn't get a job. Hospital bills were just piling up, and before you know it, we lost the house. And we ended up here on the streets. Shh, I know it's okay, it's okay. We better get going so she can get some sleep. Thank you for the food. Yeah. Hey, uh, you're more than welcome to stay here. Uh, Mike, he's just a few tents down. He can set you up with a tarp. how happy they are like just having each other around and they're cleaning up and they're just they they're not thinking like oh i'm home they're not sad every day because they're homeless like even though they're homeless they still have a smile on that face that should tell you that if you have a job and a roof over your head don't be sad don't let the little things bother you keep going if homeless people could do it people that aren't homeless could do it you know what i'm saying Oh. I think it's appendicitis. How can you tell that? I was a nurse for 15 years. We need to get into the house. He's gonna learn about a lot about these homeless people. And this guy was a nurse. So we can't take her. 
What do you mean you can't take her? She needs surgery now. Sir, this is a private hospital. We don't take homeless patients without insurance. It's strictly a liability issue. We can have an ambulance take her to another hospital. There's no time for that, and they don't have the money. Ow! I'll pay for it. Cash. They looking like, how you have cash and you homeless too? He, he said, forget that. I'm a millionaire. I'm paying for it. <laughs> you can pay that much in cash. Yes. But I'm going to need to use your phone. Hey. How's she doing? Well, doctor says she's going to do all right. Thanks to you. You don't have to thank me. I should be thanking the two of you. Thank us. For what? For opening my eyes. I never knew it could be this hard to get a second chance. But now that I do, I've figured out a way to help other people in need. And I could use your help. My help? Wow. I must say, I am really impressed. You did good, Jason. Really good. I don't know. I mean, I lost our bet. True. He but did what go. you're doing here, starting an entire foundation dedicated to helping homeless families get a second chance, that is incredible. Yeah, well, I couldn't have done any of it without my COO here. She helped me set up dozens of these shelters. That's so sweet. He made her a COO. All over the country. Jason, when you have a second, would you be able to sign these so we can hire our new in-house nurse? Is he here? Yeah. He's right over here. He's been waiting for you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. That was beautiful, man. That was so beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos and I'm out.